Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohammed Ali, and in the previous video tutorial, we have display all the orders on the, I mean, to the admin, so that the admin can see uh, which user are going to make orders, or you can say uh, which user has purchased how much products and what is the total price and quantity, etc. Okay, so you can see this order contain only one or uh, one product, and if we go to this one, this contain two products, which is like iPhone X quantity one and one for this, and also for this last one. It contains three products you can see cool summer t-shirts quantity six and all these things and the total price is here alongside with the order so now the next thing is to whenever the user uh, let's say pack all these products okay which contain this order this final order then uh, we must allow the admin to remove that order which is already packed and delivered to the customer home place i mean on the home address of a customer that is the shipping address so yeah we will be doing that so here go to the uh, admin new order activity and what we gonna do is here we can just say when we say that is inside the song start we have this on bind view holder method and here we need to say that is holder dot item view dot set on click listener new on click listener and whenever the user click on any item there so here we are going to display a message i mean a dialog box which will contain two options just to uh, verify it from the admins that either he has packed the final order or not I mean, uh, has he de delivered that package or you can say that order products on the shipping address of that customer equals to new char sequence and put two curly braces in here. We need to pass the two options. So the first option will be the yes button and the second one will be no. And make sure to put a semicolon here and in the next line. We can say alert dialog dot builder builder equals to new alert dialog dot builder and pass this context which is our admin new orders activity dot this put semicolon and let's set a title for it so builder dot set products so then the user will be two option which is I uh, already we consider which is the yes and no button so we can say dot set items pass options to it come on new dialog interface dot on click listener and this on click method is created alongside with it make sure to put a semicolon here and here we need to say that is if this position which is i if i becomes equals to zero it means that the admin press the yes button otherwise he will press the other button which is no so here we can just say finish so first of all whenever the user click on yes we will remove that product from the database I mean that order so here we need to get this uh, ID okay so how we can do that so if you remembered in the previous tutorial we have already had this thing which is for the show order button copy this string uid from here and we can just paste that here and now here we can create call a method which you will create now which is will be by the name remove order and pass this uid to it and now let's create this method Get method admin new order activity so you can see this is our method let's cut it from here and we can move it to the bottom and here we can say so one thing which I need is the firebase database so we need this order reference okay that is up to the orders node so yeah it is so simple here you can just say that is order reference dot child and we need to pass the uid to it and then we can say dot remove value and yeah that's it 
now let's uh, run the app to see if it is working or not so the app is running now successfully and now let's log in as an admin so now let's go to the check new orders and also alongside with that we can see that is what happens so if I click on any order okay we forgot to write the code I mean for displaying the this dialog box so here you can see we have this builder dot set items which end here okay so after this curly brace and this uh, brace and this colon here you can just type builder dot show and now we need to run the app again now let's go to the check new orders now let's click on this first one and here we go have you shipped this product this order products uh, which is a question for the admin so if he has not he will simply click on no and it will send us to this activity now let's say if a user wants uh, if a user shipped all these products I mean this this order contain only one product so if, uh, so if the admin basically shift this order on the home of home address or you can say on the shipping address then he will simply click on that and click yes button and here you can see it is removed from the database and also that uh, order is uh, removed from this new order activity also you can see this one contain three products okay so if this is already shipped then it will the user can see the admin can simply click on this yes button and here you can see this so yeah, I mean this is incredible and this is amazing so in the next video tutorial one thing which we will add is on the user portion which will be the searching products feature or you can say searching for different products so yeah we will be working on that in the next video tutorial so if anyone is new to our channel if channel then please subscribe our channel called in cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram instagram account by this username